Uh, downtown Sky Cam shaping up like this. And there you go. What a pretty one. 35 degrees west southwest winds at 7. Feels like temperature at 29. Here's your planner for tonight. Again, no travel problems tonight and for most of your Wednesday. Temperatures do dip down below freezing a little bit of a south wind, but overall it's not a bad night. Now there's two parts of this system. This is the bigger snowmaker. It's bringing some heavy snow right now uh, to parts of New Mexico. The cold part of this system is up in uh, northern Montana right now and back and through Saskatchewan and Alberta. The two will come together and have an impact across the Midwest, but most of the heaviest snow will stay to the south and east of us, but the big cold will be affecting everyone. So we watch this system scoot by to the south. Some of that snow will catch southeastern Iowa. This is the front that will bring the cold and it will bring some snow with it with the very frigid air in behind. So how about we look at things hour by hour again? Tomorrow, most of the day, fantastic. We could get a little bit of snow around new northern Iowa. Problem for the metro is we could start with rain, quickly change over to snow, and then temperatures drop dramatically. That would lead to icing on area roadways. And look by Thursday morning, these would be some of the actual temperatures out there at 10 a.m. in the morning, just about everybody below zero. So snow track, you see that snow from that southern system probably will catch south central, southeastern and east central Iowa with one to two inches. The rest of us will just be dealing with snow from that cold front. The problem is, even though it's light snow, there's going to be some big wind tomorrow afternoon, evening through early Thursday morning, and that's going to cause blowing snow issues up to the north. That's why there's a winter weather advisory up there along Highway 20, up and through southern Minnesota, and along Highway 30, Carroll County included in that. And then along with all that, here comes the cold. I just wanted to show you this once again. This is four o'clock. Look at how nice it is. Folks, I'll just be looking out my window. It looks like a great day. Look at the change. I mean, this is a, a big shift in temperatures. 25 below by 8 a.m. is the feels like temperature here in the metro. 30 below Carroll, 29 below in Jefferson. But tonight, not that cold out there, mostly clear. Temperatures in the 20s. Tomorrow, we may hit 40 degrees. It's going to be mild on the warm side of that front. I just went with nice early, not nice late. It really does sum it up. I couldn't get into all the details for you. Here's town to town. Rain, snow late. That temperature around 37 Ames, a 39 in Indianola. You could see some warm air, Harlan, Atlantic. You'll see the snow showers moving in. Strong winds to the north, and that's why there's a winter weather advisory. It's a blowing snow issue. Some late day snow showers, Grundy Center, and the snow probably holding off until well after the evening commute for Albia Centerville and Bloomfield. But then here comes the cold. Everybody's going to be dealing with it. Thursday morning, four below the high, only seven. Friday morning, five below. It does warm up as Valentine's Day goes along, 25. Then it's 40s for the weekend. A system early next week will knock the temperatures back down, but it's a couple day cold snap and then a nice thaw.